Good morning, it's Clay at ClayTrader.com. This will be a live trade video where I try to capture some of my trades as they play out live. Market opens up here in less than one minute. Real quick, when I say live, what I mean is that this is a situation where I'm recording myself, seeing the information, seeing the data for the very first time, compared to having already recorded everything and now coming back and doing some sort of post commentary or trade recap. But this is none of that. I'm recording myself, like I said, for the first time seeing this stuff. In other words, I don't know what's coming next. So if you just want an unscripted, nitty gritty look into what it's like to be a day trader, and how day trading can play out, then this will be a video for you. So market just opened up and not gonna touch anything for certainly the first minute. So wanna kinda see how things play out, but you can see right here that opening one minute candle forming. Uh, if you're a beginner, one minute mean this uh, candlestick as it's called is gonna keep you know going all over the place for one minute and then a new one will start to form. But I will go ahead and pause for now and I'll look around and I'll see if anything develops. Okay, I have an order at 17 here, in there for five calls, bought some calls, so looking for this thing to work its way back upwards some. Gonna need this to get up over six, or 872 to give me a chance here. All right, I'm just gonna take the 225. Was trying to give it a chance to bounce, still may, but not quick enough for me to, to you know take a chance on this thing going back right. It's still interested in maybe playing calls again with the new entry point area down around the 865 mark. Uh, but like I said, gave that thing a chance, still may turn around, uh, but wasn't willing to take that risk and didn't wanna turn, turn down the $225. Uh, but if this thing does wanna come down some more, then I would be interested in it at that point. But yeah, good opening first trade, happy with that one. Yeah, yep, never would have, uh, I was trying to get out at 18, but as of now still would not have uh, gotten 18. So what I'm watching is over here to see if 18's flash over here. Uh, and if 18's do show up and that would imply that I could have gotten out. But as of now, no 18's right there. Again, still may happen, but like I said, uh, I was looking for more of a you know a, a quick little move back to the upside. There it is, right there. Okay. But as far as my plan was concerned, yeah, in hindsight, okay, Clay, your plan was wrong. Okay, yeah, I mean, I, I agree, but that's why it's super easy to make money in hindsight. Uh, but played that one just fine, so I'll keep an eye on it. But uh, I'll look around some more. But uh, as of now, up two twenty five. Okay, watching FSLR here, sixty four fifty. For those of you wondering, hey Clay, how does your chat room work? I've alerted this alert right there. Now that doesn't mean that people are gonna blindly follow. Everybody's gotta think for themselves, but if people agree, well then hey, I'm happy to help out. If people disagree, then that's fine. Nothing but respect, because that shows they're thinking for themselves, but um, I really do like the 6450 if it comes into play, but as of right now, going the opposite direction, uh, but if it wants to come back into play, uh, then I like it very much so, but I will go ahead and pause for now. All right, watching 57 here to potentially get short. On RIVN. Oh, really? That's only 30. Never mind. No, I, th I thought this one was a bit more volatile than what it is. So even if I get a halfway decent move, it's still actually not that much. So learning lesson there, as always, make sure you check and you're not getting yourself into some stock that you would consider a little bit too slow moving for a strategy. Now, if you like slower moving stocks, um, then I'm, I'm not saying there's anything wrong with that. But for me, like I said, I, I like to see a little bit more movement. So for, right there, you know, getting a nice little red candle there and that's 20 cents. So never mind on that one. Oh, wow, mRNA just completely rolled over. I was watching that one a little bit earlier, but yeah, man. 
but I, I can't see. I mean, there's a couple of setups that I could have taken, but I mean, I am hindsight trading, so that, that's pretty easy to do when you, you know, read a, a textbook, how to trade. It's got all the nice pictures for you. You look like, oh yeah, I can, I can see why I would have done that. What's well, like, yeah, when you're looking backwards at a picture, of course. Okay. Uh, RTX, what's going on with this one here? Well, that one's pretty rough too. All right, I will go ahead and pause. I have an order at 17 for some calls. Need Tesla to just come down a bit more. All right, seeing this, I think I can get 1675 now. So let me change it down to that. Again, I'm at 1675. Okay, I got those. So let's see if Tesla wants to bounce up here a bit. And all out there, very nice. So very happy with that trade. And uh, I'm gonna keep my eye on it, see if it wants to come down some more. Potentially, I don't know, let's call it 858, maybe look to try another type of bounce. But we'll see what happens with it. And I don't mean to, I'm just, I'm scanning around uh, if you've never watched one of these videos before, I have more than what you're seeing on the screen. I have multiple monitors, so I'm, I'm talking and uh, looking at other monitors, looking at other charts, talking to you at the same time. So I, <laughs> I don't mean to be, hello, this, I, I'm just, like I said, this is live. This is all being recorded real time. So sometimes the, uh, the quality may be as little off but yeah let's see tesla 858 could be interesting i don't know did i i don't i have no idea uh made 300 on that one so i'm up 525 now on the day uh let's see here Maybe go to 850 calls here. Wow, I mean, this is a, a pretty, especially if I pull over the, the five minute chart there. So again, I am interested. More so down at 855 now that I'm looking at the chart. 855 would be a, or if I want, you know what? I'm just gonna get extra greedy. I want 852. Uh, and if 852 doesn't happen because it's still way too far away, then oh well, I'm walking away with $525 and I don't have a trade. So at this point, I'm just gonna be high maintenance. I'm going into high maintenance mode. And um, yeah, you could, Clay, what are you talking about? That's not gonna happen. You know what, you're probably right. It's not gonna happen. But if it doesn't happen, oh well, still got the $500. So I'm officially entering into high, high maintenance mode. Um, and I would encourage you to always consider doing the same. If, if you get up, if you're at a spot where you're like, hey, I'm, I'm feeling good. Uh, but you know, I'm not, you're not opposed to making more trades, then just be extra picky. Go and be a high maintenance trader. Because like I said, worst case scenario, your high maintenance requirements don't happen. Oh, well, you still have whatever amount you're up. And I mean, if I can make uh, $525 in, uh, let's see, about 37 minutes, because that trade got out at 10.07 a.m., then you know, I'm not sure of many places in the world where you can make that sort of money. But I will go ahead and pause for now, and uh, let's see if this, actually at, at this point, yeah, 852, 853, uh, we'll see if Tesla wants to work its way down there. Okay, well, I'm gonna go ahead and wrap things up. We're about uh, 45 minutes in, and $525 in 45 minutes. Um, if you're wondering, Clay, why, why be done? I mean, you could go make more money. Good question, fair question. Um, and uh, the reason is, uh, you know, I have the, you know, $500 a day keeps the day job away philosophy, but also uh, what I call the be done in 30 approach, because at this point in my life, I, I just care about time. 
I literally just care about time. Now, if, if in your journey, you, you want the yacht, you want the Rolex watch, you want the, you know, the private jet, cool. No judgments for me. I, I hope you go and get those things. But for me, um, you know, I have five younger kids. Um, and, 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 you know, I, I just have other things I want to work on, right? I have a real estate uh, business. I have the teaching business at claytraw.com. So I just want to have the freedom to do the stuff. Oh, is Tesla going to actually work out here? Okay, well, as I wrap things up, okay, 8.52 is what I'm looking at. So maybe just maybe another trade. Um, but yeah, uh, you know, I, I want to be done the beat on a 30 approach, meaning on average after 30 minutes. Now today was a little bit above average, uh, you know, right around 15 minutes of over average, but some days, uh, and for those of you that watch more videos, you've seen, I'm, I'm done in like five minutes, 10 minutes. So other days it's below, but on average, if I can be done in 30 minutes and better yet, if I can walk away with 525 bucks after commissions, let's call it 515. But if I, if I can walk away with that, I mean, that that's very much so worthwhile for me. Uh, because, you know, I, like I said, I'm, I'm not here for, uh, you know, the, anything fancy. Now, again, if, if you want that, totally cool, go for it. Uh, but I'm just after time. So that is why, again, to answer a very logical, fair question, why, why be done after just 45 minutes? Because I want to do other stuff with my day. There's other stuff I want to do. Um, and I'm going to, you know, in my opinion, at least right now, time is the most valuable uh, commodity. Uh, but that's all I have looking like Tesla. I don't know. Let me pause because I swear if this thing comes down, I mean, it's looking like it's actually getting maybe possible here. So I'll pause and let me give this thing a couple more minutes. All right, well, the setup is changing too much now where I no longer be interested at that level. There are some certain requirements that I wanted uh, to see happen and those requirements are off the table. So I am gonna go ahead and wrap things up um, and move on with my day. If you enjoy these live videos, they're not easy to make. As you saw, things got a little awkward as I got kind of laser focused and I was trying to analyze and talk to you at the same time. And, you know, so like I said, but they, they are truly live. So I have to talk to you. I have to think about what I'm gonna say to you. I have to think about my own trades. I have to manage my own trades. I have to make alerts in the chat room. So I'm not complaining. I'm just explaining uh, you know, why I'm always asking, do you still enjoy these videos? Because if you don't, then that's fine, but I, I just won't make them because they're not exactly easy to make given the, the, the nature of them. So if you do enjoy the live trade videos, then you can communicate that to me in two easy ways. Hit that like button, leave a comment below, say hi, tell me what you traded today. But those two things communicate to me that you enjoy the live trade videos. And as long as I know people are enjoying, then I will continue to make them. So everybody take care and uh, have a good one. First off, thanks so much for watching the entire video. Real quick, before you go, I wanna invite you to a live webinar, web class, training, workshop, online event, whatever you wanna call it, but it will be me live revealing to you what I discovered that has allowed me to transform myself from being an employee to being my own boss, including how I had only one losing day out of 73 days in total. I'm going to cover three keys that have helped me unlock profitable consistency within the markets. The first key is super weird, but in a productive type of way. The second key is super awesome because it quite literally is wired into our DNA as humans, making it very easy to use. But in a cruel way, this becomes a pitfall for many traders. I'll explain it all though, including how to avoid the pitfall that it creates for some. And yeah, the third key, when you hear it, sounds way too good, way too, good to be true, but it's not, and I'll show you how it all works. Then at the end, I open it up for a question and answer session that is, again, totally live. Even if you can't make the live session, please still sign up as it will be recorded, and you can go back and watch the replay that I will send you. Click the image on the screen or click the link down in the description box so you can get the date and time and claim your spot, which I should note is limited due to the fact that this truly is a live event. If you have any questions, let me know. If not, I'll be seeing you soon.